Hi guys, welcome back to the full HTML course. This is the fourth part of the full HTML course. And in this fourth part, I'm going to teach you how to display different types of input on your web page. The input tag in HTML is like a little box where people can type stuff into a web page. You use it to get information from users like their name, email, password, date, or even a file. There are many types of input in HTML, and each one has its own special job. So, first of all, let's learn how to display a text input on our web page. So, to display a text input on your web page, all you have to do is come down here and type. Uh, first of all, let's create an H1, and let's say this is a text input. All right, perfect. So now uh, let me increase it a little bit so you can see everything. All right, perfect. So now right below here, we can type input and press enter. It should auto complete for you. Make sure to set the type to text. All right, so now let's learn how to display a password input as well. So come down here and type. Input uh, first of all, let's type uh, h1 and inside it you can type uh, this is a password input. All right, perfect. So now, right below here, you can type input and press enter and make sure to set the type to password. Password, okay, perfect. So now let's also learn how to display an email input. So come all the way here and type H1, press enter, should I do complete for you? This is an email input. Okay. So now come down here and type input. Uh, set the type to email. Okay, so now let's also create a number input H1. Oh, sorry, H1. This is a number input. And come down here, input. And set the type to number. Oh, sorry, number. And let's create a date input as well. So come down here and H1. This is a the input and type input and set the type to date. And now let's also create a color input. Come down here, H1. This is a color input. And right below here, type input and set the type to color. Perfect. And let's also create a file input. H1. This is a file input. And come down here and type input. All right. So now let me go ahead and explain all of this thing to you right now. So now the text input lets the user type plain text like their name or a message. And the password input lets the user type a password but hides the characters. And the email input lets the user enter email addresses. And the number input only allows number and show little arrows to go up and down and the date input shows a calendar so the user can pick a date and the color input opens a color picker so you can choose any color you want and the file input opens the user's device to upload a file well now if you open your website and now as you can see you have a text input, you have a password input, you have an email input, 
and you have a number input and you have a z input and you have a color input and you have a file input well now let's type some text inside a text input so i'm going to type web glow as you can see it lets me write text if you know css you would be able to style it uh, you would be able to make it look very nice but don't worry because in the upcoming css full course i will teach you how to style uh, your input field i will teach you how to style your web page i will teach you how to add animation to your web page how to make your web page look very 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 nice all right so now let's type some text inside the password input to see what will happen my password one two three and as you can see it hides the text so if you click on this little icon if you click on this eye icon right here and as you can see now it shows the password and if you click back now as you can see it hides the password so now inside the email input type um uh, whatever you want uh, let's say um i don't really know what to type let me see let me think of an email um let's say ellen at gmail.com okay so now if you um hover over it it says nothing there is no error let's remove the at right here if you hover over it as you can see uh, you have a little message right here that says please include a nat in the email address it's only saying it because this is an email input and you have to add a correct email if you type at and now if you hover over it again you will see there is no message at all so now everything is correct so now inside the number input you can type any number uh, that you want you can only type numbers and if you try to type some text it is not accepting it because it only accepts number and you also have two buttons right here you have an increase button and you have a decrease button right here the increase button is to increase the quantity and the decrease button is to decrease the quantity so you can increase and you can decrease and now the date input uh, shows a calendar and you can pick any date let's say um march 2025 let's say uh 25th and we also have a color picker right here you can choose any color that you want you can choose red uh you can also uh choose uh yellow any color that you want any color blue green yellow uh any color that you want so this is a color picker and right down here oh we have to change the type to file uh, because we already have a color input so uh, let's go back let's change the type to file okay press ctrl plus s to save now open your browser again and now as you can see you have a file input and you have a little message here that says choose file and if you click on it it'll take you to your file explorer where you can choose a file you can choose like any type of file but to make it interactive you must add javascript to your web page to make it interactive now let me go ahead and explain to you what the type stand for in html we usually use the type attribute with the input tag it tells the browser what kind of box to show like a text box a password field a number input or an email input or a date input and we also use another attribute called placeholder the placeholder attribute as a short message inside a box to tell the user what to type but the message goes away as soon as the user start typing so you can come here inside this text input you can type 
placeholder. Oh, sorry. Holder. And here you can type enter your name. And down here you can type placeholder. Um, enter your password. And here you can type placeholder. Enter your email. And inside here you can type placeholder. Enter a number. And now, as you can see, inside a text input, you have a message that says, enter your name. And as soon as you start typing, for instance, if you type uh, Ellen, and as you can see, the little message goes away as soon as you start typing. And inside a password input, you also have a message that says, enter your password. And you also have a message here that says enter your email, enter a number. All right, so that's perfect. Next thing I'm going to teach you is the difference between opening tag, closing tag, and self closing tag. You've noticed that the input tag doesn't come in a pair, it doesn't have a closing tag. Well, in HTML, there are opening tag, and closing tag, and self closing tag. When a tag comes in a pair, like this H1 right here, it because it holds content inside. But a self-closing tag doesn't have any content inside, so it closes itself. So that's all I wanted to explain to you before I close this fourth port, which is also the final port of this full HTML course. In the upcoming CSS full course, we'll learn about things like the dev tag, which is super popular in HTML. It stands for a container. It helps you organize your code and your page. And we'll also learn how to style your website, how to make it nice, colorful, organized, and even animated. I'll show you lots of advanced tricks. And at the end, we'll even build a Twitter clone. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming CSS full course. See you.